long. But after a haircut at Great Clips, I'm... Me again. My five o'clock shadow arrives at 3.06. I can do that Elvis thing with my lower lip. And I can predict the future. In one second, some announcer guy will speak. Get in, out, and back to greatness. Download the Great Clips online check-in app. Great Clips. It's gonna be great. Live from the town, this is the Western Conference Finals. Warriors, Rockets, on the NBA champion Golden State Warriors Radio Network. Presented by Wingstop. 91-88, 318 to go. First time in the Conference Finals for either Conference Finals that there has been a single possession game in the fourth quarter. These have been finals where teams have dominated particular games. Warriors leading two games to one, trying to go to Houston. Up 3-1, but they have work to do here. FFA King checks in. He's driving the forklift around the, the body shop, listening to the broadcast. Game's over and a Giants baseball game listening to us. Jeff in San Jose. We'll see what the Warriors could do here. No Andre Iguodala tonight. 3-18 to go. They need stops and they need buckets. Curry gave them a bucket. Only eight points so far in the fourth quarter for the Warriors. They've been outscored 21-8. to eight. Tim Roy, Jim Barnett. The Cyber Policy Broadcast booth. Curry at the strike. Free throw is good, and we have a two-point game. 91-89. Thompson will pick up Harden, or he shows to pick up Harden at full court. Backs up, and he'll meet him halfway from the midcourt strike to the three-point line. Screen by Orisa. Now Curry guarding Harden. Harden middle of the floor. Shot clock down to 10. Curry bumped him out of the way. Steps a three. It's up, and no good. He missed it. Thompson's got the rebound. I say keep him outside every time. Take the chance there. Too much happens when he drives. Draymond Green will play quarterback. Now Curry comes and gets the ball. Is it Curry time? Guarded by Gordon. Looney the screen. Curry guarded by Harden. Mono a mono. Curry backs up. Left hand dribble. Holds off Harden. Steps to a three. Takes it off balance. He's a bad shot. Rebound goes to Tucker. Curry wanted a foul call. I, I thought he dribbled the ball to where all the traffic was in the first place. Chris Paul, he took it to where there was a lot of bodies there. Pick it pop to Gordon. Chris Paul to Gordon. It's a three and the Warriors trail by five again. 2.23 to go. 94-89. Houston on top. Curry gives up a dribble. Throws a high pass to Looney. Makes a great catch. Lost the ball. It's out of bounds. Turnover. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 2-10 left. Margin of error down to zero. Ball off the screen. Near sideline. Curry defending him. Shot clock to 10. Inside of two minutes. Warriors down five. Tucker sets the screen so Chris Paul works on Looney. Harden will go away, leaving Paul middle of the floor. Back left wing to Harden. Shoots over Draymond. It's up and no good. Rebound tipped by Curry. Grabbed by Durant. Warriors still alive. Durant bumped by Gordon. And on the rip through, he's fouled by Gordon. Durant hits it hard on the deck, but he's got to get up and shoot two more free throws. I'll say this, and with the exception of James Harden, you have to earn your points against this Houston defense. They are gutty, strong, and competitive at the defensive end. You have to be aggressive against them because they're going to bounce them. They're going to be strong. They picked up Tucker this year. They picked up Paul. They picked up Luke Babute, who's not played yet. Right. But those are all great defenders. And two-way players, guys who can do stuff for you on both sides of, of the floor. Durant hits the first. Second one's good. It's 94-91. Down to a minute 43. Everybody standing. Crowd asked to make noise and they respond. Harden and Ariza down the left wing. The 880 sideline. Harden guarded by Clay Thompson. Harden waiting now. Ball goes to Gordon who's unguarded. The jumper misses. It's out of bounds. The Warriors get it back with a minute 27 to go. They missed an assignment there, but they got very fortunate. Curry and Green trying to get a little cute on the off the ball, but they couldn't get it to work. Here comes Curry up the floor. Curry. Looney will screen for Curry. Curry guarded by Harden. Curry stops, dribbles behind the back, lost it. Feeds Thompson who fades to the corner. It's a three. It's no good. Rebound. Trayvon Green wrestled away from Tucker. Feeds Curry. Quick three on the right side. Off the rim, no good. And Tucker's got the rebound. Warriors didn't have to go for a three there. 
Tucker has 14 boards, now 15 for the Rockets. Paul off the screen, Warriors down three. 55 seconds to go in game four. They absolutely need to stop. Ball guarded by Looney. Looney, right side, dribbles, gets to the paint, stri slips, throws up, it's blocked by Looney, grabbed by Tucker, off balance, no good, tip out of bounds, it's going to be off of Houston, no, it's a shot clock violation either way. Clint, was it Paul that went in there, or Gordon, and they slipped? That's traveling, Jim. Yeah. That is traveling. They got lucky. Well, they can trade two for one here uh, after the timeout. 94-91, Houston. But the Warriors can still get a good shot in about eight seconds, and they'll get the last shot of the game. And I think that's the way they should play it. We're going to keep it right here. So now, Jim, 42.5. You're down three. You don't need a three no. in this possession. You don't. If you play your cards right and everything works out, you play percentages. This is a great time for a backdoor play to get a layup. They're going to be overplaying you, but you've got to get great spacing on this floor. And you've got to be ready to catch the ball, and you've got to read the defense, everybody. If you're not open, don't go back door, because someone else may be doing so. So take a peek. But the Warriors hurried a couple of shots here in the last couple of minutes. I will have to say this. They had Clay Thompson for a three, the kind that he likes in the corner. Yep. They had a three-pointer from Curry. They had all the shot clock time in the world, but you have to make a judgment. You say, hey, I've got to look, and I may not get another one as good as this. Well, I was telling folks all day today that I just had the feeling this was going to be a good game. Houston has played with the desperation that you would expect, and yep. the Warriors have played with the, the fight. They got down by 10. Rockets were down by 12. Neither team has given up here. And the, the Rockets hold the cards right now. They're up 94-91. Sean Livingston checks back in for Which the Warriors means? with... Which means they could easily go for a two with him. Yeah, absolutely. Curry and Thompson on the near side. Durant middle. Draymond Green double team on the far side. They're not guarding the passing. Chris Paul, Tucker, Ariza, Gordon, and Harden. Curry comes off screens. Catches it midcourt. He slips. Doubles. Now gets away from Ariza. Dribble drive. Curry goes in. Missed a layup. And a foul on a loose ball as Draymond Green was flying in there. And Chris Paul... I, I think it got too easy for Stephen Curry, and he relaxed. I, I know that feeling. You go in, you say, oh, I've got him beat. And uh, somehow you let the air out of your chest, and you don't get the oomph and the lift on the ball. Yeah, Harden was right in front of him there for a moment, but and then he got out of the way. He was free, wasn't he? Yep. So here is Draymond Green with two free throws. First one's up and good, 94-92. Well, I love where the shot, I love where the game clock is, Tim, 37.7 seconds. The possession, you've got to secure a defensive rebound if there's one. <laughs> Second one rolls off. It's a two-point game. Boy, that would have been huge if he had hit that one. Harden gets the rebound, takes the ball off the floor. I'd take overtime any time right now in this game. 25 seconds to go. Harden off the screen. Thompson fights through the screen. A reason will come and reset it. Now it's Curry guarding Harden with five, with four. Tap of the key to the right side. He'll fade into a three. It's going to be short. Draymond Green holds off Tucker. Gets the rebound to Durant. Ten seconds to go. KD takes a big hop. Crosses midcourt. Takes the elbow. Bounce pass to Thompson. Thompson's trapped in the corner. He drives, turns, spins, shoots. It's going to be way short. Rebound Chris Paul. And the game is over. We have a foul. Mike Callahan has a foul call. It's going to be on the Warriors. I'm very surprised that Durant gave the ball up. I thought for sure he was going to take that elbow jumper. In, in the corner to Clay, because if Clay's not open, he has a difficult time putting that on the floor and creating some space. And the Warriors had fouls, had timeouts to give too. Well, I like the way they did that, but I just thought Durant was going to try to finish the play. I'm not saying that they should call the timeout initially, that maybe when Clay got stuck, maybe he calls a timeout there. But uh -huh. that, again, a lot easier to say. I can't disagree with your statement. Yeah. Foul's going to be a Livingston over the back on Chris Paul. It's, it's a moot point. Yeah. What's well, point? The only thing it'll do is change his final score. Point five. Or depending on where the foul was called, it'll be point eight, point seven. This call under review brought to you by Ring Central. And we're going back 
to Houston, all tied at two. Drive a seamless communication, collaboration experience for your modern workforce. Ring Central, communicate, collaborate, and connect. Chris Paul will be shooting. They're going to put point .5 up on the game clock. The only way, if you're really into some sort of fantasy, you can have Paul miss both free throws, get the rebound with point .3, call timeout, advance the ball, throw it, take a jumper, and see what happens. Yeah, but that's not going to happen. There is a, you've got a point about the timeout. Yeah. There's .5 on the clock right now. Steve Kerr has already told Kane Fitzgerald that he's got to want a timeout here. As I said, though, on the season, Tim, Chris Paul, 92% from the line. Yep. And he makes two, and he's missed he the first. Make the first. He missed the first. Unbelievable. This he series. missed it. Wow. Wow. He, he's around 70% from the series, from the line. So here's Paul the second one, still 94-92 Houston. It's on its way, it's up and good. Warriors will call timeout, there's .5, and they still have time to get a catch and shoot. Well, this is the best of all worlds here. That foul by Sean Livingston has given the Warriors a chance. My goodness. Well, this has got to go to Durant, Tim. This cannot go to Curry or Thompson to try to get a three. Well, if it goes to Curry, I think, hear me out here and see what you think. If, if Curry could get daylight and even take it deeper than he wants. He's not going to get daylight. You don't think so? No. I, I think it's got to go to Durant because he can, he can go shoot up over the top of and somebody. go up and yeah. shoot over anyone. Half a second is no time to take a dribble. Nope. There's hardly any time to square up. you got to catch, turn, and shoot in one and motion. There, and there's only one guy that can do that. Yep. And his name is Kevin Durant. Well, the Warriors had opportunities. They led by 10 starting the fourth quarter. You come out and get a first good four or five minutes to open the fourth, you probably win the game. But give the Rockets credit. They didn't give up, and the Warriors got a little sloppy. Livingston again to throw it in at the far hash mark. Durant's at the right side of the circle on the opposite side of the floor. So is Curry. Thompson, top of the key. Draymond, left of the key. Draymond will be a screener here. Curry flares, Durant comes out, Curry catches in the corner, takes the three, it's up and hit the rim, no good! He got a clean look in front of the Rockets bench and couldn't get it to fall. Boy, did he move and get a look that what? he would just cry for any time. What a well-designed play that was. Oh my goodness. It's off a, a secondary screen, but the bottom line is... The Warriors are going to Houston, and we are tied at two. And Houston takes back home court advantage. We have a series in the Western Conference Finals. Final score, Rockets 95 and Golden State 92. And we are awaiting the possibility of getting our postgame guest here. Am I reading this right? Is this a 12-point uh, quarter for the Warriors? Uh, yes, they had, they had 80 to start the fourth quarter. I know. I'm, I'm being a little rhetorical yeah. question. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, a 12-point fourth quarter? Yes. And they made three field goals in the quarter, and none of them were threes. They filed a great third quarter with an out-of-sorts fourth quarter and did not get into any kind of a rhythm. Missed all six threes, including that last one. And the Rockets have secured home court yet again. And now it's down to a best two of three with two games in Houston. So there will be a game six. There will be a game six here at Oracle. Warriors will go to Houston and play there Thursday. And that's going to be a 5.30 start. They come back for a Saturday game six as they will take uh, the uh, Rockets and the uh, See if the Warriors can go back and get a second win down at the Toyota Center. Well, apparently we're not going to get a post-game guest from the Houston Rockets. 
Well, let's just, uh, I'll tell you what, Tim. It's 2-2, two -two, is that right? Yep. Go down to Houston, win, and come back and win game six, and don't go to Houston again. Absolutely. Until next season. I am, I'm all good with that. Well, we don't get a post-game guest from Houston. Well, that's not necessarily surprising. I can get you a former rocket. When you, I don't understand that, but but, uh, but the point is that we're in the Western Conference Finals. We ask for a guest, we don't get one. And, uh, well, the Rockets are in the bottom two in the, in the association in one category, and we know what that is. So, final score, Houston 95, Warriors 92, post-game show beckons on the Golden State Warriors Radio Network. Dub Nation, United Airlines is proud to be the official airline of the Golden State Warriors. With the most non-stop flights from SFO, United has you covered coast to coast or around the world.